Today I'm going to show you guys how to recreate this Halloween pumpkin using the dripping technique. Um, so yeah, it has spiders all over it too. We'll put that on the end and the little webbing. Um, so we're going to start by doing the drips. Uh, we're going to mix some of our colors with a little bit of water so that we can pour it over the top of the bisque and get that sort of drippy effect. Um, today we're using Hintamint, uh, Lime Ricky, Black Lab, Hi-Ho Silver, and Jumpin' Juniper. We're going to start with our lightest color, which is Hint of Mint, um, and we're going to do the lid and the base separately. So we're going to mix our uh, our paint and water solution there. I have already pre-mixed two, so I'm going to throw the last color in there. Um, you only need a tiny bit of water in there, so just about that much to do, and then you're just going to give it a good squirt. And you can take the end of a paintbrush and just sort of mix it in. So it should be about that consistency. So then we're going to start by pouring. And like I said, we're going to use the lightest color first. And then we're just going to pour it right on top of the pumpkin. So we'll start with the lid and then we'll pour a little bit. And you can sort of turn it to get the colors to run however you like. All right, then we'll move on to the gray. And we're gonna just do the exact same thing. Okay, and then we're just gonna finish up uh, with the lime green to our last pour there. And then once you have all your drips on the pumpkin, you're just gonna wanna let it set for a few minutes and dry. Um, and then we'll get to the spiders there. So just now we're gonna move on to fleckling the pumpkin with the black paint. Um, we're going to do that by using a toothbrush and some black paint. So get your, your toothbrush loaded up with some black paint and you can even dip it in a little bit of water and that will make the, the fleckling spread out just a bit more. Um, the pumpkin looks really light right now. Just keep in mind that once it gets fired, the colors are really going to liven up um, and they'll be a lot brighter, sort of like the sample. So we're going to fleckle and again, just pull your finger back against the bristles of the toothbrush. That the paint sort of gets all over. Make sure you have nice good coverage and then we're going to give it some bigger splatters as well um, using a fan brush. So. so I'll take a fan brush, get it nice and loaded with the black paint and then you're just going to kind of fling the paint onto the pumpkin. Now that we've splattered the pumpkin, we're just going to sketch on where we want to put the spiders. Um, so I'm just going to take a look at the sample here and just kind of give myself an idea of where I want those spiders to be. Now we're going to outline the, the places that we've drawn on the circles for the spiders with the black puffy paint. So I'm just going to squeeze it out, touch it down and sort of lift as you make your circle. And then touch it back down when you're finished. And then we need to give it some eyes. So we'll just make two circles right in the center there. And they can be different sizes. The spiders are kind of fun. And then we'll add the legs to the spiders. Okay, now that we've painted on the spider bodies with the puffy paint, we're going to fill in the bodies and the eyes. Um, we're going to use a white fun rider to fill in the eyes first, and then we'll fill in the bodies with the black paint. So you're just going to squeeze the paint into the circle that you've made with the puffy paint, and it'll be like a barrier there. So just go right up to the edge. 
and squeeze a nice even layer of paint into the circle. So before we can add the pupil to the spider's eye, we need to let the white paint dry a bit. So we're just going to fill the body in with the black fun writer, sort of the same way we filled in the white area for the eye. Okay, now we're going to move on and paint the letters of the name here with a Jumpin' Juniper and a liner brush. So you're just going to go ahead and get your brush nice and loaded. And in one smooth stroke, you're just going to kind of pull the paint. And you'll want to do three coats of this paint on the name. Now that the eyes have dried, we're going to add the pupils with the black fun writer. So just take your black fun writer and you're just going to squeeze out a little bit of paint there just to give it a little black pupil. And just do that all over. Okay, while we're waiting for the pupils to dry, we're going to go ahead and uh, put the black puffy paint over our blue letters on the front so you're just going to touch it down lift it and let it fall keep a nice even pressure when you're squeezing Okay, now that we have our letters um, on there with the black puffy paint, uh, the final step is the white puffy paint. So we're going to add all the little squiggly spider web lines and the tiny white dots in the eyes. Um, so we'll start with the spider webs. I'm going to put the lid back on the pumpkin just so I can see where all my webbing is going. Um, and then you just let it fall and kind of wiggle it. And just make it real curly and fun. Okay, now we're going to add the, the white dot to the center of the eye with the puffy paint. So just squeeze out, touch down, and lift right back up. Okay, and for the last step, we're just going to outline the eyes with the fun writer. Um, so just take your fun writer and just quickly outline. And then just give some outline to the mouth as well, kind of in the places where your letters aren't. And our pumpkin is finished.